Hey gang, show by Platt, back with another value spirit video. Uh, today the particular spirit is Gosling Black Seal Rum. Um, I just love rum in general for this uh, video series. I think rums are, are kind of the perfect category for this because rums in general aren't drunk neat or on the rocks. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some high quality rums that are consumed like that, but for the most part, Rum is in cocktails, whether it's uh, pina colada daiquiris or even like a mixer, tonic or cola or what have you. So there's really no need to overpay for rum. And that, that's, again, the point of this series. The appropriate value for the appropriate drink. And again, rum, I think, just uh, suits that well. Most of the rums, I think all the rums we've talked to have been light rums or light aged rums, clear rums. This is a little different. This is an actual uh, dark rum, so something just a little different for you. A little background on Gosling. Uh, the story starts back in 1806 when young James Gosling was planning to leave England and head to America to find fame and fortune and conquer the world. His father was a spirit merchant, and young James was going to follow in the family footsteps. He was actually taking spirits with him to America, uh, was part of a charter, uh, voyage from England to the U.S. Unfortunately for him, something happened on the way to heaven, and he ended up getting stranded in Bermuda. The ship's charter ended early, and they just stopped right there in Bermuda, did not go on to the U.S., and so he had a shipment of booze and was stuck in Bermuda. Luckily, uh, James decided to uh, kind of work through it and ended up uh, setting up roots in Bermuda. Quickly uh, found some success, enough to where his brother came out and moved out with him, and they established Gosling Brothers uh, Limited, I believe was the original name of the company, um, and decided to set up roots there. Him and his brother ended up purchasing a their first, um, I guess, office space or store space, in 1824 on Front Street, which is, I guess, the main drag there in Bermuda, and they were there for the next 127 years. Uh, very interesting how a random event like that, something that would seem unlucky, ended up creating something so permanent. Now, the brothers weren't automatically in the rum business. They were just in the spirit business in general. But by the time 1860 rolled around, they had already started blending rums. Now, this is very similar to what happened in England probably around the same time, maybe 20, 30 years earlier when a lot of your grocers uh, started blending their own scotches. Uh, back in the early 1800s, you'd have a merchant that might buy a barrel from Glen Levitt, a barrel from Glen Fittick, a barrel from McAllen, and a lot of their customers like, well, I like the peatiness of this one, but I like the smoothness of this one. Can you just give me you know, a little bit of each? And the merchants did that to take care of their customers, but eventually they started creating their own house blends, and that's how we got things like Johnny Walker and Doors and Chevs, these blended whiskeys. A lot of they, they were created by grocers. Well, the Gosling brothers did a similar thing with rum, and they created something that was referred to as old rum. It was a dark, full-bodied rum. People were really starting to like it, and it caught on to the point by the turn of the century, they had switched the bottling into champagne bottles. Apparently, they were plentiful thanks to the British Navy. And they started uh, to seal the bottles with black wax. Now, this ended up starting a new trend where people referred to it as black seal rum. Well, it's got that black seal on it, made it unique. And now we have an actual little seal on the bottle, and they, you know, it's their trademark, their logo, and everything. But again, it was one of those things that was not planned, just fate kind of worked out, and now we have Black Seal Rum. A uh, quick little personal story about Gosling's that you guys may or may not like. I was fortunate a few years ago to actually meet members of the Gosling family. They are still uh, part of the company. They are still running the company today. I believe they're in their eighth generation. And I remember meeting the folks. Pleasant folks, happy as could be, just nice as could be. And I remember thinking, well, of course they're nice. Think about it. They're, you know, doing the family business, a highly successful family business, which means they're wealthy. They live in Bermuda. They make rum. Yes, they would be happy. It just, I remember just thinking they have won in life. Uh, just a funny little story. Again, I was fortunate to meet the folks. Great uh, people. Uh, speaking of family, let's talk, quickly talk about their family of products. They have a gold rum that is uh, highly thought of. 
They have something referred to as old rum. Now remember, the Black Seal rum was originally known as old rum. What this is, is basically the Black Seal just aged longer. So again, kind of harkens back to that tradition. Uh, they also have their own brand of ginger beer. I, I believe it's known as Stormy Ginger Beer, what have you. Probably the most popular drink that Gosling's goes into is the Dark and Stormy. That's ginger beer with a float of dark rum on top. You could use Myers or another dark rum. Most people generally use Gosling, and Gosling now has created their own ginger beer for that. Uh, last but not least, they also have Black Seal 151. It's 151 uh, proof dark rum. If, uh, if you're really into co tiki cocktails, a lot of times these classic rum cocktails, you might have either a 151 floater or a dark rum floater. Now you have the best of both worlds in the Black Seal 151. Uh, they also do have a few other special blends and age and select and single barrel stuff like that. They're, they're newer products I'm not uh, really aware of. Real quick, a few accolades for uh, Gosling Dark Seal Rum. Liquor.com rates this as one of the 12 best budget rums out there. They also, of course, list this as the best rum for the dark and stormy. Now, oddly enough, uh, researching this, they claim that Gosling has a trademark on dark and stormy. Now, in, in dealing with my liquor business at one time and just being in the business as long as I have, from what I gather, there's no such thing as trademarking, copywriting, or patting any kind of recipe, a cocktail, even like your bourbon mash. Like, no one owns the mash recipe to Jack Daniels, or they own the name Jack Daniels, but they don't own the mash recipe. Or Budweiser doesn't own the beer recipe, they own the name. Well, a cocktail, I'm not sure how they do that. It'd be interesting to find out how they do it, but I, I thought that was interesting. Uh, next, uh, Serious Eats rates, it, rates this one of the 10 best budget rums. The Beverage Tasting Institute labels this a best buy. And last but not least, uh, Gosling's Black Seal Rum was awarded Rum of the Year at the 2019 Rum Awards. Now, I will probably never go to the Oscar or the Grammys or any of those kind of big celebrity awards shows. I probably would never want to go. But if I could get to the Rum Awards, I would be a happy man. That would be just too cool. Well, enough about Gosling uh, Black Seal Rum. Let's drink some Gosling Rum. Oh, my God. That has the color of like a flat cola. Let's give her a smell. Ooh. A little heat on the nose, but not too bad. Do you kind of pick up some dark caramel stuff like that? Let's give her a try. Oh, that's nice. Uh, to me, a little lighter body than Myers. Myers is pretty thick. You pick up that heavy, dark molasses notes. This is a little more subtle. Um, actually, body-wise, is similar to almost a flat cola. Uh, you do pick up the caramel, the, the sweetness that you would in a cola. Yeah, this goes down nice. Not too harsh. Um, of course, at 80 proof spirit, there's still a little alcohol burn. Um, sweetness, but not overly so. Again, body-wise, not too thick. Just a nice uh, full-bodied rum, has those dark notes into it, you know, this brown sugar, the molasses, obviously. Um, but again, I don't think it beats you on the head. Um, again, something nice, something that would go on a cocktail, nice, you know, a nice dark rum to provide that, you know, dark brown sugar molasses flavor into a drink without overpowering it. So, uh, Yeah, that's a nice little sipper there. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out con good content. Sorry about that. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section. Or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.